In the murky depths of the night, a group of stoners gathered in a dimly lit room, their laughter mingling with the swirling smoke of their chosen herb, unbeknownst to them. Their revelry had caught the attention of Asmodai, a cunning demon known for his ability to exploit the weaknesses of mortals. Asmodai, his eyes shimmering with malevolent delight, materialized before the stoners. A sinister grin twisted his face as he observed their hazy state. Greetings, my unsuspecting companions, he purred, his voice oozing with false camaraderie. I bring forth a proposition that shall add excitement to your mundane existence. The stoners, their minds clouded by the intoxicating haze, glanced at each other, curiosity mingling with a sense of caution. What kind of proposition? One of them ventured, his voice laced with a mix of intrigue and skepticism. Asmodai's eyes gleamed with a predatory glint. I propose a game of chance, a gamble for the very essence of your pleasure, he explained, his words woven with an irresistible allure. In this game, we shall wager your precious cannabis, and if you emerge victorious, it shall be yours to enjoy, without bounds. But should I win, your souls shall be forfeit. A tremor of unease swept through the stoners. The weight of Asmodai's proposition sinking into their hazy minds. They exchanged wary glances, torn between the allure of the game and the fear of the consequences. One of the stoners, Dave, hesitated before speaking his voice laced with concern. Is this some sort of tricked demon? What guarantees do we have that you will play fairly? Asmodai chuckled, his laughter ringing with an undercurrent of dark amusement. Rest assured, my dear mortals, I shall play by the rules. I shall play by the rules, but remember, I am a master of deception and the game is seldom what it appears to be. The room fell into a tense silence as the stoners contemplated the risks and rewards of Asmodee's proposition. Their minds clouded by the herb's influence. They found themselves teetering on the precipice of temptation. Finally, one of the stoners, Sarah, her voice tinged with a mix of excitement and trepidation broke the silence. Let us accept your challenge, Asmodee. We shall test our luck and prove our worth. Asmodee's grin widened, his eyes glinting with wicked delight. Very well, my eager participants, he sneered, his voice dripping with anticipation. Prepare yourselves for a game that shall test the very limits of your souls. And so, the stoners and Asmodai engaged in a game of chance, their minds ensnared in the web of suspense. The stakes were high, the tension palpable as the dice rolled and cards were dealt. With each turn, Asmodai's cunning became evident he manipulated the game, his tricks hidden behind a mask of false camaraderie. The stoners' hopes dwindled as the demon reveled in their mounting despair. Time stretched on, each hand dealt and wager placed, adding to the mounting sense of dread. The room echoed with gasps, laughter, and cries of frustration as the stoners faced the relentless force of Asmodee's skill and manipulation. As the game reached its climax, the stoners' faces grew pale, 
their eyes wide with a mixture of terror and disbelief. They had fallen into Asmodai's trap, their souls on the brink of damnation. With a triumphant sneer, Asmodai revealed his winning hand, his victory sealed. The room fell into a chilling silence as the realization of their impending fate sank deep into the stoner's souls. Asmodai's laughter filled the room, a cruel symphony of torment and delight. Your souls are mine, he hissed, his voice reverberating with a chilling resonance. You gambled and lost, and now the price must be paid. The stoners, their hearts heavy with regret, cast desperate glances at each other, their spirits crushed by the weight of their own folly. The room grew colder, the room grew colder, the air thick with a suffocating sense of doom. And as Asmodai claimed their souls, a sinister grin etched upon his face. The stoners realized too late the true nature of their encounter. Their love for the herb had lured them into a trap where the thrill of the gamble had become a gateway to their ultimate demise. And so, their story stands as a haunting reminder of the dangers that lie in the shadows, of the temptations that can lead one astray. Asmodai's triumph over the stoners served as a chilling testament to the consequences that await those who wager their souls in the realm of the supernatural.